Morning greetings from the Mathematics Academy. Here in this question you will see that the roots of the quadratic equation are real and equal. And here we see that the equation is not in its proper format. So in multiplying these terms then we get x into x as x square then x into b as minus bx minus a into x as minus ax and minus a into minus b as plus ab. Similarly, we will do the multiplication in these two terms. We get x square minus bx minus cx plus bc. Also, on multiplying these two terms, we get x square minus ax minus cx plus ac equals to 0. Now on simplification we see that this x square are coming 3 times so on adding we get 3x square and then this bx and bx on adding we get minus twice of bx also minus ax with this minus ax we get minus twice of ax now minus cx and minus cx together we get minus twice of cx then plus ab one time only plus bc and we left with the plus ac that is equals to 0. Now again on the simplification here we see that x square that is 3x square here now taking the x is common in the from these three terms we get minus x as common and we left 2b plus 2a plus 2c and here these terms are independent it means ab plus bc plus ac equals to 0 for the we see that we can take the 2 as common from these three terms then this is 3x square as it is on taking 2 common we get minus twice of x and we left with a plus b plus c on rearranging the orders and lastly ab plus bc plus ac equals to 0. Now we see that this equation is in its proper format. Now as we see that here the coefficient of x square is 3. So this is the value of a. Here we see that the coefficient of x is this except this one. So this whole is our capital B and this will our C dash. As we know that the formula to find the discriminant D that is equals to B square minus 4 times A into C dash. Also we know that the roots are real and equal. If the roots are real and equal the value of D is 0. So simply on putting the value of D here that is 0 on putting the value of B that is minus 2 bracket a plus b plus c with the whole square minus 4 times a and the value of a is 3 here and the c dash that is a b plus b c plus a c. Now the square of minus 2 that is 4 and a plus b plus c whole square minus 4 3 is a 12 and we left with only ab plus bc plus ac also if we want then we take the 4 as common from these two terms and after taking the 4 as common we get 4 and we left with a plus b plus c whole square on simplification this term we get a square plus b square plus c square plus 
टू ए बी प्लस टू बी सी प्लस टू सी ए दैट इज द फॉर्मुला ऑफ द ए प्लस बी प्लस सी होल स्क्वायर नाउ हियर ऑलरेडी वी टेक द फोर एस कॉमन सो वी लव विथ माइनस थ्री हियर एंड द टर्म दैट इज ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस ए सी now as we know that the 4 is in the multiple of this and on shifting the 4 from right to the left it will go in the denominator of 0 and 0 upon 4 that is equals to 0 again and we left with these terms and that is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca also multiplication by minus 3 here we get minus thrice of ab minus thrice of bc and minus thrice of ac here we see that the a square plus b square plus c square and the 2ab and this is also minus 3ab so on seeing the sign here the minus 3 plus 2 that will comes out minus ab Similarly, 2bc and minus 3bc, we left with only minus bc and 2ca plus minus 3ac, that is minus ac. So we have an equation that is a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac. Also, we see that we left with the equation in the last slide. Now, on continuing with the Last portion that we left here, that is a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac equals to zero. First of all, what we do here, just we multiply by the two on the both side. On multiplying by two, we get that is twice of a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ac equals to two multiply by zero. Now On multiplying two in the here, that is two a square plus two b square plus two c square, also minus twice of ab, minus twice of bc, minus twice of ac, and two multiply by zero, that is zero. Now here, two a square may be written as a square plus a square. Two b square may be written as b square plus b square. 2c square may be written as c square plus c square, and minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ac equals to zero. Here we arranging the orders such that first of all we write the a square, and then b square, and then minus 2ab in order to obtain our formula here. Again, we arrange the b square. Then c square, then 2bc again to obtain a formula here, and we left with the three terms here. That is a square plus c square minus 2ac equals to zero. Here we see that this is the formula of a minus b whole square. Here this is the formula b minus c whole square. And here, this is the formula a minus c whole square. As we see that this is term is positive, this term is positive, this term is positive because here this is the square, and all the three terms positive. And on adding, we get zero. This is the possible only when a minus b equals to zero, b minus c equals to zero, and a minus c equals to zero. Now, here may be putting as a square also. It's not a big issue. On taking the square root, we left with the a minus b that will equals to zero, or a equals to b. That is the first relationship we here get. Now here in the next equation, again on taking the square root, we left with the b minus c equals to zero. Also, b equals to c. Now here, again taking the square root, we see that a minus c equals to zero, 
a equals to c on rearranging this three result we get a equals to b equals to c and that is the result which we required thank you friends